So it turns out that, you know, while enhanced, you know, levels of glutamate transmission uh, can actually um, act via NMDA receptor mediated pathways, right, to, um, to strengthen synaptic connections uh, and, and cause what we call a long term, right, because it, it can be la long lasting potentiation or strengthening of that synaptic connection, right? And that can contribute to changes that occur, you know, when you're experiencing various things that are enhancing, you know, excitatory transmission along particular networks, and you can, you know, have LTP and strengthen specific connections. And that underlies your, your, your learning of and memory for, you know, various episodes and experiences that you might be having. Um, it turns out that prolonged depolarization of neurons, you know, like, like very long lived sort of, you know, um, uh, kind of excitatory, ex excitatory transmission, like lots and lots of glutamate, too much glutamate, uh, is actually what we call excitotoxic. It'll actually, uh, promote, you know, the switching on of genetic programs in the cell that's being heavily stimulated, um, to commit what they, what they call cellular suicide or apoptosis. So high glutamate levels can actually, uh, kill off brain cells, can damage brain cells, can, you know, uh, lesion the brain. Um, and there are a couple of examples of this. So one of the, uh, you know, for example, if people have an epileptic seizure where there's lots of excitatory activity occurring, lots of glutamate release, that could be one of the reasons why people, uh, you know, experience, you know, uh, damage. There's the, it's, they call it excitotoxic damage. Too much overstimulation of these glutamate synapses and too much activation of these NMDA receptors, mediated pathways back to the genes, and then the cell, you know, at a certain level of overstimulation will give up and, and commit apoptosis or cellular suicide. Uh, there's a famous, um, you know, a film by Alfred Hitchcock, you know, the famous director uh, that was actually, uh, it's called The Birds, you know, where birds come crashing in and attacking you know, this coastal California town. Um, and it was actually based on an actual incident where birds that had been poisoned um, by uh, what's called domoic acid, uh, which is this sort of um, excitatory amino acid that's produced by toxic algae uh, that gets eaten by shellfish and crabs and fish, um, you know, uh, uh, seagulls that had consumed some of these, you know, shellfish that... Um, were contaminated with domoic acid with this algae, uh, you know, started crashing into, you know, cars. And, you know, way back in history, there used to be these, these things called phone booths, smashing the phone booths. So uh, actually, this was um, the basis for a, a great film uh, by Alfred Hitchcock called uh, The Birds. Um, also, during um, stroke, uh, an ischemic stroke, uh, there's usually massive, you know, release of glutamate that occurs that also contribute um, to some of the, uh, you know, uh, lesioning uh, and the sort of losses that occur in response to, to, to stroke as well. So high glutamate levels uh, can be excitotoxic or neurotoxic.